Just before midnight Tuesday, the Rowan County Sheriff's Office got a 911 call. This individual reporting that he had shot and killed all his family members and gave us the address of, of where they were located, said he would be waiting for us to respond. Deputies responded to the address and found the homeowner was fine. Then Wednesday morning between 4 and 5, the Sheriff's Office got several reports of emails sent to St. Clair Healthcare and to Moorhead State University saying the same, even threatening shooting and bombing people in the area. In today's society, and I'm sure law enforcement will, uh, um, once they identify the perpetrators, will take the appropriate course of action. Leaders at St. Clair say they had a similar call like this last year. Leaders at Moorhead State say the main priority was keeping the campus safe. And just making sure that they were aware and also ask them if they would happen to receive any kind of threatened communication to please pass that on to our campus uh, authorities. More than 2,000 people at St. Clair Healthcare and around 10,000 people at Moorhead State University were impacted from this morning's events, but these leaders all say that it's communication in this tight knit community that has kept everyone safe. And, and we're a small enough community where, you know, we all have each other on speed dial. He says whenever law enforcement gets a threat, they take it seriously. Even though we felt from the early on in this that, that it was a swatting type call or a hoax, we still took it serious and we still put people in place just on that rare event that there was any truth to it. Now this community is looking for answers, hoping to find the person behind these threats. In Rowan County, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.